All right, y'all, we back, man. I'm about to teach y'all how to shoot the basketball, basically. I'm gonna just teach y'all. I'm gonna give you my jump shot first off. I'm gonna give that a little later in the video. But I'm gonna just show y'all what good shots are. Because if you did not know it, as a point guard, and I'm giving a point guard jump shot. I have a 6 8 and a lock, but I'm just giving y'all my point guard jump shot. Because look at this chicken, okay? Now, some things you guys need to know this, bro. There's a lot of people out there shooting dumb shots. I see it all the time, you know. I shoot wide open and just miss a lot off the dribble when I have no stamina because, you know, it's not as bad as last year, but you definitely still have different jump shot animations off almost every dribble move. So I feel like for me, the easiest shots to take is like, you know, slippery off ball passes, you know, get a board, pass it out, me, us, uh, like just rotating around. Those are always the easiest shots to take, but I can shoot someone off the dribble. It's just not as consistent yet. Theoretically, I just feel like it's because I don't got as much time to play the game all day as like I used to. But on this new player, uh, my shooting percentage is like, it was 70, but I'm not gonna lie. I am delayed at the park. I can't even play park, y'all. Like, I'm sitting here playing D3 Pro-Am. We're actually, I'm gonna show you my record and everything. I'm gonna show you all my stats and everything, bro. Like, I, I can I can shoot the ball, man. It's just hard to get open nowadays. Cause like, it seems like if they run up on you, it's, it's not a good shot. It like depends. Like, it has to be a hard screen, bro. Like, you can't really green those type of contested shots you used to from like, being on the boat and all that like you just gotta change your play style that's what i feel like especially as a three-point shot hunter you got no defense so you really just can't chuck either because like it's, it's just it's just tough out here but if they give you enough space it's green so i feel like a crazy like the best move in the game to use that everybody probably already has is the snatch back i think it's an escape move i think it's darren fox i don't even want to tell you guys wrong i was just playing around and found it i haven't even watched nobody's dribble tutorial or anything yet but i will be watching some because i feel like i just gotta catch up man and i ain't really been on the game for real since like what 19 but you know i'm back man as you see green beam bro i need y'all to look at the top right too look at all my percentages of course everybody misses shots but on this new 6-3 i made i'm chicken i'm not gonna lie Hey, in the comment section, actually, man, if you're a PG, and I don't need a PG, if you're, like, the guard for your team, let me know your shooting percentage. If y'all need a 6-8 jump shot, too, I got y'all one. I don't remember about hard, or I would just give you it right here and now. I just know Sadiq Faze in it. I forgot the whole thing, though. But right now, if you cannot tell what base I am using, it's Curry base. It's so smooth. I want to try Kobe base, but, I, like, I don't want to keep switching up everything because the shooting's like... Shooting isn't hard, but you just got to really be on tip nowadays. Like, you can't just chuck, like, at all. Another thing is, I know a lot of y'all don't do this. Y'all need to start going to the shooting facility. And then you start going to Chris Brickley. I need to play my career, do all the quests, bro. Because once you start doing quests, you get badges way quicker. Like, the game is just easier when you have badges. These clips right here, I don't think I really had that many Hall of Fame badges on that one. This is, like, my first clip ever of the game right here. And I didn't really have any badges. Like, I'm just, I don't even know what to do. I'm sitting here trying to ISO. Thinking the game's cool. It's, I don't know. It's just hard to ISO on a 6-3 when they have a, when the, when the, when the defender's bumpy, it get, it get wicked, bro. I'm not going to lie. Especially with no dunk. But right here, I'm about to go to Chris Brickley's. You can see here, this is a must-do. You need to get Mamba mentality, bro. I swear, when you play more my career, just your player just gets more efficient. I don't even know what it is. Just It just feels better. But Chris Brickley is a must. I'm pretty sure everybody already knows about what lethal hotspots are, too. So, yeah, you need to get those. I don't know why this year 2K is going to make us wait a whole real-life week for two hot zones every, like, every week. And imagine if you mess up, like... I mean, theoretically, <clears throat> you shouldn't mess up. If you can shoot threes, you shouldn't mess up. The, 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 the drill's easy. I'm going to show you guys exactly what the drill looks like and where to go for it. But yeah, quests are necessary. You can't just go to the park, go crazy on an 88 overall with silver badges no more, man. These golden Hall of Fame badges really help. Just makes my player feel more efficient. As you can see here, you know, I think this is on rookie, but still, man. Just snatch back, shoot, contested, game winner. Now we're going to go to the, where's he at? Chris Matthews lethal shooter man we about to go over there we have to get them lethal shooting um i ain't gonna lie i really don't feel a difference in the the lethal shooting hot spots but everybody says they do a difference and i just feel like i'm getting better at the game but i had to hop on my other player this is my first 6-3 i have a whole new 6-3 but i guess i couldn't play it ain't been a week yet so i hopped on this one and I was hoping, I don't have no hotspots on this player too, as you can see here. So another thing is you need to know, if you don't have no hotspots where you're shooting, like you see I have no hotspots just in that corner, right? Uh, they won't give you purple uh, 
they won't give you the lethal hotspot. It's just gonna turn to red. So you have to shoot where you already have red hotspots and it'll turn purple. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. But without further ado, man, I'm gonna give you all my jump shot. The best jump shot for point guards is fast, smooth. I just gotta start learning more off the dribble. All right, I will show y'all everything, man. My record, my stats, all that. Uh, I just know for this player, I'm shooting like 49, 50. It was 70, like. I was shooting like 70 a few days ago, bro, but I cannot play park. Like, I literally can't. I promise you I'm delayed. I'm not even like, not even on no, I don't know what just started happening too, but as you can see here, the 134 and 42, you know, I just kept trying to play like under bad conditions. But as you can see here, I play rec with IRLs, man. And then the 3v3 pro, I'm actually taking serious because like, I'm just trying to win and get them 100. Well, how when you get 250 wins, you get 2x rep, and I'm trying to hit veteran. Even though it's actually pretty hard this year. Like, what, I'm only 5%? I've been playing all this morning and yesterday night a little, and I'm only 5%. And I was at I was at 0 0.7 when I started. I'm only at 5%. So that's going to take so long. But you can see here, uh, let's go to the stats. You see, boom, we at the top right there. I just gave up on park. I, I, can't, I can't play park, bro. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll play it a little. I just need them to fix something. I know it's not my Wi-Fi, but that it's just it's just so irritating trying to be a point guard and you're like delayed a little, like little milliseconds that matters. So let's go to animations. I'm gonna show you my jump shot. I think I only have one jump shot. I don't even be naming them. As you can see here, we got Stephen Curry base, Oscar Robertson, upper release one, Chris Cholza. So I don't even know. Uh, it's release two. I didn't even know I did that. I might change. I want to make a new jump shot. This one's good, but I heard Kobe's a good base too. But yeah, this is my jump shot right here at 80 20. As you can see here, we got an A release height, A plus speed, defense immunity, A minus, B plus stability. I really don't know what none of that. Like, I don't know what stability is supposed to mean. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a way to get that up. But you can see here, boom, I got it at, I had it at 20. But that's my jump shot, man. Just anybody wondering, that's it. Uh, if y'all want to add me, I be on this game a lot. I be on a lot during the weekdays, I, like late at night, man. That's when I be grinding. Weekends, I'm on 24-7. Like weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm on the game. But like weekdays, I be needing people to play with at night or in the morning. Like I be just busy during the day. I can't, I can't know life how I used to, bro. But as you can still see, we still uh, amethyst. It's not hard. Game's cool. It's actually good 2K. The only thing you got to get used to, y'all, you can't be pulling them shots that we used to, man. I'm not going to lie. That's why being a point guard is very frustrating this year. Like, of course, you're going to get open sometimes, but you need screens like this year. Unless you're like a 6'6", six, 6'8", six, six, guard doing all the, um, them, that old spam and that crossover. But I'm not going to lie. All that's getting boxed by a real, like, lockdown. Like, all that's getting boxed. But, like, at the part, yeah, it could work. But I just feel like I'm forced to run the lineup with a lock. But I am making a 6'6 six, six soon. I have a lock now right now. I have actually let me show you my builds for it in the video. I have a couple different builds, but my, I'm my main is always gonna be my point guard. I need to just go back to that because I haven't even been practicing how to dribble or nothing. I just been on my lockdown playing rec with the IRLs, bro. Did you see here? <clears throat> this is my first build. I haven't touched him in like a week or so. A week and we get some change. Inside out threat. That's my six eight build. He just he just not bad at anything. Not good at anything. We got my lock with a nine nine three, and I be getting bumpy. And we got my point guard. I do want to make my, I'm about to make a 6-6 six, six in the slot right here soon. And I'm going to make a center. I just be trying to play the game, man. I'm trying to hit veteran, bro. Like, this game is not bad. It's very, it's very a fun game. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just like, you just can't do what you used to do, man. That's, that's it. You just got to get used to that. But yeah, man, make sure y'all like the video. Subscribe if y'all new, man. That jump shot is chicken. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm shooting 50% on this player. 50% is actually pretty good on this game. So, it will go up eventually, you know. Just got to get right. But yeah, y'all, I'm out.